Oh, Mr. Freeburg. Uh, yes. I would not touch that if I were you. Oh? No. Oh. We never open that up here in Washington. Well, I was just going oh. to, uh... I see. Well, uh, sorry, sorry. Good evening. I'm Stan Freeberg. Welcome to the Federal Budget Review or the $600 billion misunderstanding. Mr. Freeberg. Yes. Now you've lost me. I beg your pardon. $600 billion? In real life, is that an actual amount of money? Oh, yes. I'm afraid it is. That's the federal budget of the United States. That's how much money the government spends to run the country for just one year, more or less, you know. It's too much. I can't absorb it. All right. Well, that breaks down to about $2 billion a day the government is spending. Too much? I still can't, can't absorb, absorb it. it. All right. Take a look at this. At the Chamber of Commerce building in Washington, D.C., is a clock. This is some actual film of that clock. Every time the hand sweeps around, the government spends another $10,000. You're kidding. No, with every sweep of the hand, another 10000 is spent. Day and night, seven days a week, and it never stops. See? 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 Oh, the federal budget, the federal budget, the wonderful, fanciful federal budget. Oh, how can the people in Washington judge it? They can't, they can't, they can't. For the budget that used to be 300 million is suddenly hovering at 600 billion. One morning we'll wake up and find it's a trillion. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. government hasn't the money, what on earth will the government do? Oh, but now the part that gets funny, they come take it from me and you. they come take it from me and you. The budget you see is the budget you've got. It may seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot, but the sooner you realize that it is not, the better off you'll be. With a budget that's built like a dinosaur, we should dump it just outside of Baltimore. But the feds have the jump and we're stuck with this lump of a gift for you and me. If you hear that the budget is balanced, don't believe everything that you hear. The same people would probably tell you that the Easter Bunny is here. That the Easter Bunny is here. And the budget you see is the budget you've got. It may seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot, but the sooner you realize that it is not, the better off you'll be. With a budget that's built like a dinosaur. We should dump it just outside of Baltimore. But the feds are the jump, and we're stuck with this lump. But the feds are the jump, and we're stuck with this lump of a gift for you and me. No. Mr. Freeberg, yes. will we ever see the budget? Uh, yeah, right there. No, no, I mean the actual budget. Oh, you, know. you mean the budget itself? Yes. Oh, is that what you'd like to see? Mm. Could we have the federal budget itself, please? The federal budget of the United States of America. Let's see. You like it here? Mm, mm. How about a little bit to the left? I uh, think I'd like to see it a little open. Open? Open. You want the book open? Mm. Oh. Let's see. I'll help you. No problem. Oh. <clears throat> just a minute. Just a minute. What's going on here? Well, uh, we we're just uh, trying to open the uh, Well, don't you budget. think the United States government has procedures for this kind of thing? Well, could we see one of those procedures then? Yes, you may. Ah, uh, what? What? Nineteen 
nice elephant. Mm, yes, but isn't that a little partisan? Pardon me? Well, the elephant's okay for some people, but what about the donkey? No problem. Can we see the donkey, please? There you go. There's a... There's perfect. your donkey. There's your donkey. Perfect, perfect. Of course, yes. How does this budget get to be so big? Oh, well, I'll, I'll try to explain to the both of you here. <clears throat> One of the explanations could be the Freeburg political neutron bomb theory. Can you give me that again? Yes. <clears throat> the presidential election every four years is sort of like a political neutron bomb. It blows away the previous administration, but leaves the federal budget standing. You see? You follow that? Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. I'd like to just take this moment to give a big hand to the thousands of bureaucrats and all those nearly invisible bureaus and government agencies for helping to pad this into one of the great federal budgets of our time. Other budgets may come and go, but in the big budget hall of fame, this will be the one to beat. Oh yeah. The Babe Ruth of budgets. The one that knocked America out of the park. Well, who gets the credit for the work that went into a spectacular budget like this? Huh? Well, it was a team effort, believe me. Not just the people who did so much to waste parts of it, but, you know, those who asked for and got important government grants to fund things like a new $2.8 million building to be attached to the $8.9 million building already standing to house a wheelbarrow full of moon rocks. And then, of course, the now classic federal grant of well over a million dollars to test whether fish get drunker from tequila or gin. Terrific. So I've written a special song about all this, and it was my good fortune to be able to get the lady who's going to sing it for you now. Direct from Broadway, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Millicent Martin. I would like to dedicate this little number to all my friends in the United States Senate and the House of Reps, many of whom are right down front tonight. All you guys who keep asking for federal money and get it year after year for all kinds of junk. Well, here's a little number from all of us here in the Federal Budget Review for you. You got your money now, but Mr. Beware. A billion here, a billion there. Before you know it, you're talking real money Two million eight to get some Luna Rock stashed A million more to get some mackerel smashed Before you know it You're talking real the rain. 
wait in case you should care. A billion here, a billion there. Before you know it, you're talking real. It has been pointed out that the annual budget of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare <clears throat> was larger than the annual budget of any country on Earth, with the exception of the United States and Russia. True, true. In spite of that department's reorganization, we've been able to call together one more time the great Department of Health, Education, and Welfare Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> The country was young. Paying your taxes was relatively simple. You know, a few pennies here and there. But as the country grew... Oh, the federal budget, the federal budget, the wonderful, fanciful federal budget. Oh, how can the people in Washington judge it? They can't, they can't, they can't. They can't, they can't, they can't. For the budget that used to be 300 million is suddenly hovering at 600 billion. One morning we'll wake up and find it's a trillion. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. government hasn't the money, what on earth will the government do? Well, we're now the part that gets funny, they come take it from me and you. They come take it from me and you. And the budget you see is the budget you've got, it may seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot, but the sooner you realize that it is not, the better off you'll be. With a budget that's built like a dinosaur, we should dump it just outside of Baltimore. With the feds of the jumping, we're stuck with the slump of the gift for you and me. If you hear the 
that the budget is balanced. Don't believe everything that you hear. The same people would probably tell you that the Easter Bunny is here. That the Easter Bunny is here. And the budget you see is the budget you've got. It may seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot, but the sooner you realize that it is not, the better off you'll be. With a budget that's built like a dinosaur. We should dump it just outside of Baltimore. But the feds are the jump. And we're stuck with this lump. But the feds are the jump. And we're stuck with this lump of a gift for you and me. In other words, one of the ways the government raises the money to pay for all those things in the federal budget is by taxing people. Right, that's right. And the greatest of these is the income tax as collected by the IRS. Ugh. No, no, listen. A lot of people fear an audit by the IRS, but, you know, it's no big deal. Stanley V. Freiberg. Right here. So, Mr. Freeberg, you have never before been audited by the Internal Revenue Service? Well, I, uh, answer. <laughs> I asked my good friend, the distinguished author, Ray Bradbury, to drop by tonight. Ray, uh, tell us, what do you think of the federal budget as literature? I don't know about that, but this is some of the greatest science fiction I've ever read. Well, it's just about that time of day when all the people in our great federal establishment get off work. You know, the White House, Cabinet, Senate, House of Representatives and all those agencies, otherwise known as the great bureaucracy of the United States government. Hark, I think I hear them now. Make way for the great bureaucracy. Stand by for a war of poverty. And though it's possible you're not poor, it's true. You may be eligible before we're through. Who cares if your taxes may be steep? You'll have a portion you may keep. Unless, of course, we need some more. You know the way expenses seem to soar. And after all, who did you think would end up paying for? What's known as the great bureaucracy Three cheers for the great bureaucracy Beloved by the universe, are we? We're more adaptable than we've ever been Our foreign policy is just pencil thin We've got a new attitude, you see. Let's call it flexibility. One day a hawk, next day a dove. Both birds together working hand in glove. And when you've got that kind of image, folks have got to love. What's known as the great bureaucracy? <laughs> Hats off to the new economy. 
From all inflation we are free Somebody tell you what we're smoking, my friend. Up here at the great bureaucracy. Up here at the great bureaucracy. Hi there. I'm Lee Kokomoko, chairman of Chrysler Tanks. Well, I don't mind telling you, we've had our problems here at Chrysler in the last year or two. No use hiding that. I mean, let's level up front, you know what I mean? But looks like things are going to be OK now. Knock on steel. <clears throat> Thanks to you, the American taxpayer. I mean, sure, the federal government guaranteed the loan to Chrysler. But if we don't make it, hey, where do you think they'll get it, hmm? So the bottom line is, you end up bailing us out. And don't think that we aren't appreciative here at Chrysler to all you taxpayers. <clears throat> now, as you may know, Uncle Sam gave us another little pat on the back recently here at Chrysler. The Pentagon awarded us a $10.9 billion contract for a whole new fleet of our new XM1 tanks. Now, that means we got to move all of these babies out. Now, what does that mean to you, Mr. and Mrs. Average tank buyer? Well, that means you can come on down here to Tank City and take advantage of us here at Chrysler. Oh, yes. First of all, not only are we going to give you a terrific rebate on your current tank, we're going to give you an offer you find hard to refuse. This tank. You buy this tank right here for a mere $899. That's $899,000 marked down from a million. And give you another tank for a penny. A penny. How about that, folks? A one-cent tank sale. Yes, sir. Now, you go to any other tank lot in this town, and you won't get a deal like the one we're offering here at Chrysler Tank. These babies are sweet. Look at that. Original tread, air conditioning, power turn. It's loaded. CB radio, racing stripes. Hey, I tell you what. You buy one of these this weekend, I'll throw in 500 rounds of 50-millimeter ammo. Hold it. And once again, Thanks for the part you played, albeit unwittingly, in guaranteeing our loan. And if we can ever guarantee a massive loan for you, hey, just give us a ring here at Chrysler Tank if you're ever in the neighborhood, and I thank you very much. Here you go, Ray, your copy of the federal budget. Well, thank you. I'd like to thank Mr. Ray Bradbury for dropping by the show tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our ballet to waste. We mean a hundred billion that was just misplaced And add another fifty billion spilled in haste Now what you've got is mostly federal waste. Governmental, waste. governmental, waste. governmental Simply monumental, waste. monumental waste. Did we mention waste. waste that the mind cannot begin to fathom waste. Bureaucratic, waste. bureaucratic, waste. systematic Other times erratic, waste. mathematic theory wouldn't help a bit Mr. C. North Coat Parkinson laid down his law And it might be nice now to repeat it He said that bureaucratic work expands To fill out the time that's available to complete it May the good Lord forbid he finish the job Hit up the time, what a terrible crime Not to use up the time the allocated time Some computer is carefully planned So what you do is get on the phone With some government clone Till the time has been blown And you help to make the work 
expand To make elephantine government more elephantine There ain't no doubt You gotta learn To drag it out Talking governmental waste, waste, waste. We mean a hundred billion that was just misplaced, and had another fifty billion spilled in haste. And what you got is mostly federal, waste, governmental, waste, governmental, waste, governmental, simply monumental, waste, military. Waste, that is scary. Waste, that is very Pentagoniary. That is manic, waste, made in panic. Waste, Democratic and Republicanic. Waste, that is piddling, waste, fair to meddling. Wild money's burning, congressmen are fiddling, and the federal funds are twiddling. It's a bureaucratic riddling how they're diddling all our dough away. Bureaucratic, waste, diplomatic, waste, Middle East and Asiatic, waste, that is manic, waste, made in panic, waste, both democratic and republicanic, waste, economic, waste, waste, that is comic, itsy bitsy waste and also astronomic, waste, waste, that's titanic, ultra gigantic, big production waste produced by Daryl Zanuck, waste, waste, duplicative, waste, waste, duplicative, 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 waste, collaborative, waste, cumulative, legislative, 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 waste, candidative, waste, ship of state, regulative, 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 waste, appropriative, waste, negotiative, Negotiative, aggravating, 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 premeditative, contemplative, dislocative, 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 quantitative, abominative, irritating, 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 decapitative, annihilative, not to mention that it's also perforative. We mean apocalypsiative. Way! The wonderful, fanciful federal budget Oh, how can the people in Washington judge it? They can't, they can't, they can't For the budget that used to be 300 million Is suddenly hovering at 600 billion One morning we'll wake up and find it's a trillion Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy If the government hasn't the money What on earth will the government do? Well, we're now the part that gets funny They'll come take it from me and you The budget you see is the budget you got it They seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot But the sooner you realize that it is not The better off you'll be With a budget that's built like a dinosaur we should dump it just outside of Baltimore But the feds are the jump And we're stuck with this lump But the feds are the jump And we're stuck with this lump of a gift for you and me